Yuri, I'm at a Fisk construction site, and there's a lot of guys here who aren't exactly constructing. What are they doing? I want to go find out. Huh, just got a text from Doc. Looks like he attached an idea for a Spidey gadget. Man, does he ever stop inventing? Wow, this looks like it could work. Awesome. Doc would be proud. Ass on the regular. I thought the boss killed him that one time. Maybe he did. Oh, crap, get it off! That time. Hey, there he is! Uh, I'm in an ass kicking! Gun running. Let's see what I can do to cut down the supply. I can't reach him. Show me what you got. He's gonna throw. Smoke him. Away from his work. Like they called their buddies. Go! 
without permanent. Come on! That's not fair! Ah, oh, anyone want to surrender? No? Get down! Place is locked down, Captain. Actually, web down. And someone finally reported shots fired, so I've got officers inbound. Good work. Fisk has more construction sites throughout the city. Betting their fronts, too. Keep an eye out, and report in if you see anything suspicious. If I'm gonna find all of Fisk's construction sites, I should recalibrate my mapping software to be more accurate. Using a depth map post-process on photos of popular landmarks should do it. And I know just the one to start with. Good old Empire State. Man, I love this town. Time to grab a snapshot. That'll do it. Map should be recalibrated now. I haven't done much photography since quitting the Bugle. Forgot how much I enjoy it. Should keep an eye out for more landmarks to shoot. Oh, it's Mr. Lee. Hello? Peter, it's Martin Lee. I just wanted to let you know we need a little extra time to get set for May's party. I guess the cake delivery is stuck in traffic. Oh, sure thing. Uh, just let me know when you're ready and I'll swing by. Great. Talk to you soon. Okay, got some time to kill. Let's see what's happening out in the city. We got this, Spider-Man. Thanks anyway. Officers respond. Witness report of an active drug deal. 
Nearby officers, please proceed to the Bryant area. Hi, Mr. Lee. Hey, Peter. We're all set for the party, whenever you're ready. Cool. I'm on my way. All units. Civilians are trapped following a vehicle collision. Any officers near Madison, proceed to the crime scene. Hi, Mr. Muggins. Uh, this is about the rent. Mr. Parker, this call serves as your third and final warning. Picture proceedings. Wait, wait! I, I get paid at the end of the week! I get... Ugh. Eviction proceedings will start Friday unless full payment is received by close of business. Good day. Yeah, good day. Mr. Lee's probably in the kitchen, getting ready for the party. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. <laughs> What's up? Just dropping in. Hey, Martin, so sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. Hey, there's my favorite aunt. Peter, what a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh, uh, uh I just, just wanted to talk. Okay. Okay. Um. Peter, are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no I, mean, I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Girl problems again, huh? What? No, that's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is, but... The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh... Peter. What is it? Come on, you can tell me. These past few years... You helping me through college and working here, and sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's for many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone... You help everyone. <laughs> now, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Oh, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it, it really means a lot. Voicemail from Yuri. Should check it outside. Voicemail from Yuri. Hey, silent alarm at the auction house holding Fisk's estate sale just tripped. Could you check it out? Quietly? I don't want to make a scene if it's nothing. Fisk estate sale? Sounds fun. Wonder what the kingpin had hidden in his closets.
1010. Witness called in an active drug deal. Report came in from Lennox Hill. Attention unit. Witness report of an assault in progress. Incident was reported in Central Park. Yuri said quietly. Better find a back way in. Attention unit. Break in reported in progress. Where is the file? There's someone else here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file. Or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. I need to pick them off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. <laughs> Gotta do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others. <laughs> Look so cozy whipped up like that. Should web him from above. Whoa, careful. You stay quiet now. Someone's coming. Patience wears thin. Someone else is here. I swear. She must have the file. If they're here, where are they? Yanjing Zen Dadian. Yo, Kyla! Hey, what is that? This totally belongs to- Don't move! Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Hey, Pete. MJ? What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least... I was. Oh, I, uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the Bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh, uh-huh. Let me explain. Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I'm covering the Fisk estate sale. Hello. 
Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry, it just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know, uh, maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here, no moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind, we're good. Let's get started. Look around and familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. I get why Peter does it, but I never totally loved the heroes hiding behind masks thing. Feels like part of being a hero is standing behind your actions. Being willing to say, yeah, that was me. That's the sort of hero I'd want to be at least. <sighs> Fist cut Peter open like a pork sausage with this the first time they fought. Pete got away, collapsed in my yard half dead. Hmm, Simcaria. Weren't they just in the news? Sometimes I feel like the whole history of the world is just boys playing dress up, getting into fights. I can't get over this image. So much tension between these two figures. Kyoto. So beautiful. <sighs> Part of me wishes I could drop everything and travel the world. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. Starting with the prize, a one-of-a-kind Kake Monbaku. Beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm... sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything... strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Wait, I recognize that statue. I gotta get a foot on it. Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine, follow me. Thank you. This, this is a really lovely space. It is, and this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back.
Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you mean? We had to reschedule. Quiet. If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your head, Craig. Dang, she's pissed. It is most definitely a threat. Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. Right. I don't believe you. Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. Right. Pete told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens, but how? I wonder if there are any clues in here. That's the Neo behind them. But it looks different. She certainly is cozy with Fisk. something. Statue can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. Maybe these pieces move. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. The catalog mentioned two poses. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. That's not right. That's it. 
Norman Osborne. What is this? Devil's breath. What is devil's... What the... Excuse me, sir. You... you can't be... Not good. Where's the statue? In... in... in, in there. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. Says the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete. Focus. She don't. Yes. All right. Of course. Should clear these guys out before I push forward. For labor. Yo hun ban no. Okay, Pete. I'm hidden near the front. Give the word and I'll make a break for it. We'll do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? The notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. I'm not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. Okay, room is clear. She must have taken it. You're worthless. Huh? Not like that. Silent. Yo, some of us here, ma. That's all of them. No, let me go. MJ. The hostage taking guys. Whoa, what is up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I fought specters, but you know, technically, specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? Uh, seems like this is an energy thing, not a ghost thing. All good. Fight a ghost stays on the old bucket list.
Was a workout? Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi. Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You... You will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That... I... I don't... What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? <laughs> like the last six months never happened? <sighs> Since when did Mix become Italian? Uh, no idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Mm. Well, yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius' work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Is that what we are? I Maybe mean, we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and, uh, keys and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. Heading down third. Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you had, Peter Parker. of a narcotic sale in progress. Additional officers needed in Times Square. Over. Peter, I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. 
but I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time! I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow! That's considerate! What's the money for, Herman? What do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm just talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman. At least talk to me so we can make it interesting. Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done talking. Noted. Honestly, Herman. Why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Still enough. Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow, that might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ, you're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah. Whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack.
Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Think of what you want. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane, she's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? <sighs> I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Nothing like a high-speed chase to keep a guy on his toes. All units divide. A kid Hello? Peter. It's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey. What's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I, mean, I didn't forget, forget. I just... I, I'll be there soon. His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. Ah, he's right. How did I lose track of time?
need officers to respond to a car crash. Civilians are trapped. Nearby officers, please proceed to the West Village. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry, ask him to talk to his dad. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. 